Hey Aries, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what spirit has for you. I've been a little under the weather, so that's why I haven't gotten any videos out, but I'm trying to feel better. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Aries? What message do we have for Aries? And we have the sacred waters. Nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. So I feel like you're being called to really get in touch with your emotions. Like allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to like don't push your emotions down. Allow your emotions to flow. But let's see what the sacred waters has to say in the book. Sacred waters. Here we go. The sacred waters are the life-giving mother of us all. Her healing waters replenish us and give us life. We're made up of her. Like the rose, we need her waters to survive and thrive. We must drop our roots deep to receive the nourishment we so deeply need, to appreciate, protect, and honor the very thing that we take for granted. The mother of the sacred, sacred waters delivers the message to slow down and take care of yourself particularly your body, to prioritize your well-being and live in a way that's sustainable. She reminds us to replenish and nourish ourselves and take care of our health all the time, not just when we feel unbalanced. You're being called to nourish and replenish yourself before you come brittle and parched. The mother of the sacred waters wants you to know that there's nothing more important in your life than the care of your own sacred vessel of a body, and the earth is an extension of that. She wants you to treat yourself with tender care, to cherish your body and hers, to fill your well until it spills over, and once it does, to find a way to give back from the place of plenty, to give your body what it's yearning for most before it turns into an urgent need. What's your body yearning for? So this could be extra rest. This could be, you know, nourishing it with better, healthier foods, um, you know, getting out in nature, um, spending more time with the people you love, um, giving yourself um, pampering treatments, um, anything that makes you feel good, feel um, more in line with what's important to you. This could be anything that makes you feel better, you know, um, less work, a little more play, especially it is summertime in the Northern Hemisphere. Let's see what else we have. And we have, this is not your practice life. Decide what is your inner voice telling you about the dream in your heart? Number 22. So this is definitely getting in line with what is um, what you dream of, doing things that, I don't know why this bothers me so much, because this card is bigger than this one, so let's put it in the middle. But this is like, not just going through life, just doing the same routine, um, just in order to survive, but what is, you know, what is your dream life? What is it that you, you know, want to be when you grow up. I mean, this is like not just going through the motions of survival, but actually taking steps towards what you always hope to accomplish. What is, you know, brings you passion? What is it that you, um, you know, really fills your heart with joy and um, fulfillment? That's what you should be working towards, even if it's a little step. Even if it's just um, creating a time for a hobby on the side or something that brings you joy so you're not just um, fighting each day to exist. What else do we have? And we have trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So it's never too late to start. Um, even if you feel like you're too old to live your dream, it's like there's definitely time to um, start living the life that you always dreamed of. But let's read what that one has to say. Trust the timing. So often those who feel like they're here for a reason sense that time is running out and they spend their life worrying that they might miss their moment. But the only way to miss your life or your moment is to spend your time worrying about missing it. 
It's never too late to answer a calling and you're never too old. The tides of your life are magnificently orchestrated to come in and out in perfect unison. Don't race ahead and ride a wave that was never meant for you. You'll waste your precious time and energy when instead you could be enjoying your life. Everything has a season and you're being called to trust the one you're in. Don't let impatience, comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. It seems that everyone has anxiety these days, constantly scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keeping our mind and body pointed in the same direction as our soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. Right now, you're being reminded to take a breath and trust the wave you came in on. To trust the season you're in, time isn't running out. There's plenty of time, there's no rush, and it's never too late. How can you trust the timing of your life a little more? So, yeah, it's never too late. And, you know, just tune in to... Um, Tune into the timing. Tune into what you want out of life. What is your inner voice trying to tell you about the dream in your heart? And, you know, also tuning into your body, into the sacred waters, tuning into your heart and saying from this day forward, I'm going to follow my heart. I'm going to listen. I'm going to start um, looking for the signs. I'm going to start following my wave, right? <clears throat> All right, let's see. What else? And we have the world. Number 21, Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. So I feel like you're closing out a phase of your life, but you're also opening up into a new phase. This could be an awakening. This could be, you know, coming into a brand new phase of your life or um, like a promotion or a retirement or going into, you know, a new phase of a relationship. Um, I mean, this could be absolutely anything, but it's definitely giving you a change in perspective on life. So it is changing your path, the way it looks, the way you perceive things. What else do we have? We have temperance, balance, Archangel Zadkiel. The need for more balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. And we got that timing. So this is definitely has something to do with timing and being able to recognize divine timing and have patience, but also be able to like have patience but also be able to feel and see when it when the time is right for you what is the challenge here and we have the sun wow archangel uriel happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself and that's what i'm getting here is it's almost like the the sun in the reading doesn't matter how it comes up, even though it comes up in the challenge position, it still is makes the reading positive, period. But it is in the challenge posi position because your confidence is what's a challenge for you. It's like you don't have confidence in um, being able to really live your dream life. It's like your possibilities are small like your the thought of your possibilities are small and you need to expand them you need to believe in yourself bigger you need to understand that the possibilities are endless that you can still live your dream life you still can be what you said you wanted to be when you were 12 or whatever i feel like it has to do with um really going back to that inner child and um, remembering how big your imagination was and how creative you were and and bring that back into focus because you're still that same person and you can make that person live again. What is the advice from spirit here? And we have the six of fire, all about victory and success. Victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or award. So I feel like this is about looking at everything that you have had victory in. And it's like almost like um, really acknowledging, giving yourself credit for the victories you have had and how 
you may not realize it, but you are admired by a lot of people in your life, in your social circles, in your family, um, a lot of, even at work, people admire you for your um, determination, for the successes you've had, and they, like, more people around you believe in you than, than you believing in yourself. That's what I'm getting here. All right, what is the outcome here? And we have the Hermit, Archangel Raziel. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. And that's what I feel like you may need this little bit of time to yourself to really look at yourself. Kind of see how others see you and how the divine sees you. And like regain that sense of self-confidence, self-worth. Understand your own value. Understand how... Um, how much you've learned over this lifetime and I feel like um, you're gonna you're going to gain this new um, perspective this new idea of what is possible in your life the bottom of the deck is the page of water and I feel like this is it says a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase heightens psychic abilities but what I'm getting here is it's about getting emotional and following your heart for once. It's not about um, just going through the motions of life and um, just doing what you're supposed to do. Doing, you know, the the um, work, go to work, come home, make dinner, you know, um, take care of the kids, go to bed and do it all over again the next day. There's something that's going to bring you passion. It's going to bring out your creativity and you're going to just look at life from your heart's perspective and it's going to really inspire you to go after what you've always dreamed of. That's what I'm getting here. All right, let's clarify. <clears throat> Excuse me, show me this world card. And we have the Six of Wands again, twice in one reading, victory and success, yes. This is like you um, needing to toot your own horn to recognize your own victory and give yourself credit where credit is due. It's like you've minimized those victories in your life. And I feel like even, I feel like you need to go way back. It's like you probably were really good in sports or really good in something like back in high school and college or something. And it's like, you know what it's like to work hard for something that really means something to you. And you're going to get back that passion, that inspiration, that motivation. Show me this temperance card. And we have the six of cups. So we have this memories going down memory lane of really um, following your heart, of understanding what it feels like to follow your heart, to be in love with something, to have that right recipe. That's what I'm getting here. This could be a soulmate, but I'm getting that this is more personal. This is more about you and your life. So I feel like you're going to get back to that state of really loving life. That's what I'm getting here. Show me the sun in the challenge position. And we have the magician, awareness, yes. It's like the awareness, the clarity, the understanding of the right recipe of what it takes to really enjoy life, what it takes to really connect with your work, your passions, your, um, your, motivation like what motivates you what inspires you what brings about those victories and success it's connecting and really enjoying what you're doing what is the six of fire and we have the lovers so again this could be about a relationship but i'm just getting that it's just about this like connection to the things that you are working on creation, like creating things that you're passionate about, um, really investing and being um, all in with your heart and soul into something. Like I said, like it could have been, you know, sports or um, 
you know, theater or band or whatever it was in high school and in um, college, like art or whatever, you used to put your whole heart into it and you were so successful at it. And I feel like life has just gotten away from you and you haven't found that spark again, but you're coming back into that. Not to say that's what you're going to go into, but you're going to pull that spirit into things now so that you can kind of be what you always wanted to be when you were growing up. All right, what is this hermit energy? And we have the four of cups. Yeah, because you become bored with life. You become bored with just this same old, same old energy, the same routine. There's no passion. There's no motivation. There's no inspiration. And that's where you're having to dig deep and find it within yourself to to um, get back on this track of going after your dreams, making your dreams come true. Bottom of the deck is the strength card. Yeah, so I feel like this is happening now. This is Leo season, so I feel like that's what it's referring to, is it's coming into this spark or this relighting of the flame within now. It's coming into a new phase for you where you are getting to um, revive that creative spirit within you. It's like inspiring, it's passionate, it's fulfilling, it's really making you enjoy um, what you do every day. So that's beautiful. <clears throat> All right, let's get some guidance here. What guidance do we have for Aries? Guidance for Aries. Okay, we'll go with this one. From your soul's perspective, this life is just a page in the never ending story where you and those around you all have a specific role to play. Yet remember, this role is not the real you, for you are much more than your personality in current circumstances. Your true immortal self cannot be defined. Beautiful. So those are the messages that came out for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please, please, please subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.